Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. When you subscribe to Star Wars The Old Republic, you'll receive the ability to create one free level 60 or level 70 character for your account. This free token character allows you to create a high level character and jump directly into the later expansions without having to play the original stories that you would experience if you created a character from level 1. The drawback is that to let you start the expansions right away on these high level token characters, the game will auto-complete the previous major storylines, make the decisions for you for those expansions, and lock you out of playing them on that token character. While the free character token is extremely useful for easily creating a high level character, you will miss out on being able to play your class story, and the class stories are often considered some of the best stories available in the entire game. If you're a new or returning player and you're wondering if you should create a level 1 character or a level 60 or 71, most players will highly recommend that you start with a level 1 character. That way, you can learn the game as it's intended for new players to the game and won't get dumped into the expansion stories part way through. And lastly, you won't be overwhelmed by having all your high level abilities at once. You also then won't be locked out of playing the storylines yourself and making your own decisions for your character. For example, the game will autocomplete most choices as dark side for Empire characters and light side for Republic characters, so if you wanted to play a Jedi straying towards the dark side, you wouldn't be able to have your Jedi choose that during their main story, as the game would instead autocomplete it if you made a high level token character. The free token you get added to your account is also considered quite valuable. Just a heads up, you can't sell it, it's already applied to your account, like an unlock. If you were to go and purchase an additional level 60 or 70 token item, called the Commander's Token, used to be called the Outlander's Token, it would cost you about $20 USD in cartel coins, or somewhere between 50 to 100 million credits depending on your server, if you bought it from another player. Instead of using that token right away, Players recommend you save that free token until you are more familiar with the game and have a better idea of what you'd like to do with it. In general, token characters are great if you want to either jump directly into the expansions and don't care about the original stories, or if you want to have a high level character to play on but don't care about the story at all. A very common way players use these tokens is when they would like a second character of the same class. They've maybe already seen the story once and don't want to play it again, but want to try out the other advanced class option, like creating a Jedi Knight Guardian if they already have a Jedi Knight Sentinel. Another great reason to use your token is to quickly do endgame content with friends on the opposite faction or on a different server, instead of having to level a new character from scratch wherever they are already playing. If you really want a high level character without auto-completing the story, you can also get a Master's Datacron item. This expensive cartel market item costs 2000 cartel coins, much like the commander's token, or you can buy it on the GTM from other players. And it can be used on an existing character to bump them up to level 70 without affecting the story at all. Unlike the commander's token, you do not get one of these for free and it does not auto-complete your stories. So in short, when the choice pops up to make a level 1 or high level character at character creation, choose level 1 until you know what you want to make for sure instead of wasting your expensive token by accident. I hope this beginner's video was useful to you. If you want to show your support for this series, or to have similar Star Wars The Old Republic videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. And as always, may the high level be with you.